Today we're going to do a little work on our GE refrigerator, the ice and water delivery system. No worky. Check it out. Does your water dispenser do this? Here's the tools you're going to need. Phillips head screwdriver, some uh, needle nose pliers or something to strip wire with, uh, some heat shrink, I use this size right here, some solder, some flux, soldering iron, multimeter if you got one, you may or may not need this, some electrical tape, a little flashlight action, and uh, heat gun for the heat shrink. First thing to check is this switch back here. Uh, just make sure that turns off your light because that switch disables this guy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little skirt here. There's some wiring behind this skirt that I think is causing our problem. There's two little screws, one here and one here. We are down here uh, by the freezer door, on the bottom of the freezer door. This is where all the wires go in. And there's uh, a couple little connectors. This guy here I don't know if that's a test port or what it is. It doesn't really matter. I think there's actually two different connectors here uh, from the factory. One is like this, one is like this. So the wires just double up coming out of the back of this connector. So you can use either one. But uh, this little connector, <clears throat> hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, it's pretty corroded, it's nice and green. Because uh, it sits here down on the floor and gets wet all the time. And uh, this little guy, you just kind of push on it, pull out. And uh, I'm guessing if it's this one, you just do the same. You just kind of pull it out. Uh, but the bottom line here is, uh, when I took this out, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe I'll zoom in here. You can see two pins in there, sort of uh, diagonal from one another. And there's supposed to be a third pin. I believe it's in this corner here. If we look at the back, there's the white wire. It's supposed to be in that corner. And it doesn't exist. And when we look in, this one here, uh, this one with the heavy corrosion on the bottom is where the white one was supposed to connect and it, the pin's actually broken off in there. So it's no longer making connection. So what we're going to do, this provides all the power and the controls and sends signals and so forth. Uh, we're going to cut this little connector off and we're going to cut the connector off on the other side and we're going to wire these direct to one another, tape them up real good and that should fix our problem. We've got two blacks, two blues, a white and a red. And the uh, white and red go together. The black goes to black, blues goes to blue. So uh, we'll strip these. And I've got the soldering iron over there ready to go. So we'll solder these up. On soldering projects like this, I always like to incorporate some heat shrink uh, just because I think it makes a better protective layer than does electrical tape. And these particular ones I'm trying to put back in our little jacket here just because uh, I know this is a wet area and I'll probably come back and put electrical tape over the whole mess. But uh, we'll hit this here real quick. A little bit of electrical tape here, and uh, we'll put our little trim plate back on and call this baby done. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Então, a gente...